Hello students, welcome to the class of Bioinformatics. Today we will discuss semi-global alignment, the Smith-Waterman algorithm and we will do some problems. The basic alignment algorithm discussed so far performs a global alignment. That is, it compares two sequences in their entirety. The gap penalty is assessed regardless of whether gaps are located internally within a sequence or at the end of one or both sequences. This is not always the most desirable way to align two sequences. Suppose we wish to search for the short sequence ACGT within the longer sequence A, A, T, A, C, G, T, G, T, C, T. Of the several possible alignments between the two sequences, the one we are most interested in is A, 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 C, G, T, G, T, C, T. Gap, gap, gap. A, C, G, T, gap, 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 gap. This is the most interesting alignment because it demonstrates that the shorter sequence appears in its entirety within the longer sequence. When searching for the best alignment between a short sequence and an entire genome, we might wish to avoid penalizing for gaps that appear at one or both ends of the sequence. Here the terminal gaps are usually the result of incomplete data acquisition and do not have biological significance. This approach is referred as semi-global alignment. Fortunately, we can conduct such an alignment by making a few small changes to our basic dynamic programming algorithm. So let us understand the difference in semi-global alignment compared to needleman wunsch algorithm. In needleman wunsch algorithm sequence alignment, a vertical move represents a gap in the sequence along the top axis and a horizontal move represents a gap in the sequence along the left axis with penalty value for the gap. But semi-global alignment do not want to compute penalty for the terminal gaps. So leftmost column and top row of the matrix will be initialized with the value 0. Additionally, Horizontal move in the bottom row and vertical move in the rightmost column are penalty free. The difference in initialization of semi-global alignment and needleman wunsch algorithm is demonstrated here in this figure. Please note, the difference is not only in the initialization of the first row and first column, but in the last row and last column, the horizontal move in the bottom row and vertical move in the rightmost column are also penalty free. Here in the figure, the leftmost column and top row of this partial alignment score table have been initialized with the value 0. Additionally, Horizontal moves in the bottom row and vertical move in the rightmost column are penalty free. This allow gaps at the start or end of either sequence to remain unpenalized. The arrows indicate all allowed paths from the lower right corner of the partial score table to the upper left corner as in needleman wunsch algorithm for alignment 
so i hope you got the concept about semi global alignment now let us understand an algorithm for local alignment smith waterman algorithm sometimes even semi global alignments do not afford the flexibility needed in sequence search for example suppose you have a long sequence of dna and you would like to find any subsequences that are similar to any part of the yeast genome for this sort of comparison a semi global alignment will not suffice since each alignment will be penalized for every non matching position even if there is an interesting sequence that matches part of the yeast genome all of the non matching residues are likely to produce an absmid alignment score the appropriate tool for this sort of search is a local alignment which will find the best matching subsequences within the two search sequences the smith waterman algorithm can be used for local alignment with minimal modifications our dynamic programming method can be used to identify subsequence matches while ignoring mismatches and gaps before and after the matching regions the resulting algorithm was first introduced by f smith and e m waterman in 1981 which is a fundamental technique in bioinformatics so now let us understand how the smith waterman algorithm can be used filling the table is similar to global alignment algorithm needleman approach but we place a zero in any position in the table if all of the methods result in scores lower than zero once table is completed we identify the maximum partial alignment score then work backwards as global sequence alignment and construct alignment until we reach zero now to understand this smith waterman problem to find the best local alignment let us do a problem two sequences are given let us understand the smith waterman algorithm with by doing one problem consider two sequences first sequence is a a c c t a t a g c t we initialize the with zeros second sequence is g c g a t a t a we are using smith waterman algorithm for the local alignment of these two sequences gap penalty value is minus 1 match bonus score is plus 1 and mismatch score is minus 1 as designed in the needleman wunsch algorithm we form m plus 1 rows and n plus 1 columns in semi global alignment we do not want to compute penalty for the terminal gaps so the leftmost column and top row of the matrix will be initialized with value 0 filling the table is similar to global alignment algorithm for remembering the values i am writing here gap is minus 1 match score is plus 1 no match score is minus 1 when we take the diagonal elements or left values or computation values from the top if the result is negative we write zero we do not write negative values in the cells we proceed like this 
when math score occurs for the diagonal elements we write 1 by adding the diagonal element value here when we take the value from the left side 1 we have gap value minus 1 so 1 plus minus 1 value 0 becomes value becomes 0 thus we fill all the values in the cell we place a 0 in any position in the table if all the methods result in scores lower than 0 all other computations are similar to needleman wunsch algorithm method once the table is completed in this manner we find the maximum partial alignment score in the entire table which is 4 here the maximal value in the partial alignment score in the table is 4 here starting with this position and working backward until we reach a value of 0 we obtain the alignment we choose the alignment sequence based on the arrows diagonal arrows as we discussed in needleman wunsch algorithm here the best local alignment sequences are ta ta and best local alignment score is 4 